Hi guys, Fire Plays here, and welcome or welcome back to another YouTube video on the channel. And today, guys, we are going to be officially predicting every game of the 2022 AFL season. All right, guys. So I did make a video a little while back now, uh, predicting every game. This video, this is going to be an updated version where I will predict every game. Um, now. This is kind of like a version 2, but with the fixture reactions all done and dusted, um, now this is kind of allowing us to move into the official stages before the season starts. So this is the official part of all the AFL stuff we've been waiting for a long time. This is the official part now, uh, and today we are going to be pretty much kickstarting this official stuff. We're going to be putting out official AFL ladder predictions. Um, yeah, we're going to be putting out official A for ladder predictions, official A for round by round. Um, no, we've done the round by round, so the round by round's over. But, yeah, this starts it all. We're going to be doing our official ladder predictions. Um, and, yeah. So, today, um, we're predicting every game. So, there's going to be a fair few changes from what we did last time. But, anyway, let's go ahead and hop right into it. So, I reckon Melbourne are going to win, take the first game out by a little bit. Um by around that 20-point margin. I reckon Richmond could probably do the same thing against Carlton. Now, I reckon St Kilda are going to win by 10 points against the Pies. Uh, I reckon Geelong will snag a handy win over the Dons. Um, I reckon Sydney will get a nice win over the uh, over the um, Giants. Um, I do think Brisbane will beat Port Adelaide. Um, Hawthorne North, Hawthorne, um, Freo defeating Adelaide. And West Coast. So that's what we've got for the ladder. Uh, round two, Bulldogs count. This is a Bulldogs win. Um, and I reckon Sydney will definitely snag a win against the Cats. Um, Pies, Crows, this is, a, this is a real 50 50 game now. I am going to say, just because it's at the MCG, I'm going to say the Pies. Um, now, again, this one could really go either way. And yeah, got some, going to have some real close games, um, of course, um, to do. Uh, and some other games will be a lot more easy to, to work out about who might be winning them. Um, now, this is another really good game. Now, I did say, oh, I think North Melbourne could take it out. West Coast could take it out. I mean, I, I would probably end... I'm, I'm going to end up giving myself West Coast the, doubt, um, the benefit of the doubt anyway. And I'm going to say they'll win it. Oh, Frio Saints. Another really good game here. But, I mean, look, I, I'm going to say Frio... Um, um, here's your ladder. Um, and it's interesting, Port Adelaide just in the eight as well. Uh, Western Bulldogs, Sydney, again, another game that could really go either way. Uh, I do think the Western Bulldogs will take this one out, and I reckon the Melbourne will take it out against Essendon. Um, Port Adelaide will take this one out by about 45 or something like that. Um, GWS Gold Coast, this is a big win for the Giants. Um, Collingwood Geelong, uh, Win for the Cats, by a bit more than that. Um, and then, yep, yeah, Brisbane North, where we can all see how that's going to go. Uh, unless if there's an upset, which there, which there definitely could be. Um, Hawthorne Carlton, another 50-50 game. I am going to say Carlton. Um, this, again, could really go either way. But, yeah, that will hand Carlton their first win of the year. Now, St Kilda Richmond, I reckon Richmond. Um, and I reckon we've got a good derby here, but I reckon, again... Frio could take it out. Port Adelaide, Melbourne. I mean, look, really, this one could go either way. Port Adelaide could definitely take it out. I could definitely see Port Adelaide taking it out um, as well. But they do have problems against good teams at home. So I'm going to say Melbourne. Um, oh, oh. Geelong, Brisbane, continue. I'm going to say Geelong. Um, Sydney, North. Sydney. Um, Collingwood, West Coast. Another really close game. Another game that could really go either way. I probably, like, on the norm, I'd probably lean towards West Coast. But considering how dominant Collingwood were at the MCG up against um, West Coast in 2021, this does kind of say, why why not go Collingwood by, and why not go Collingwood by a big margin as well? Now, I'm just going to say under 30 points just because it's at Marvel. Do Collingwood play at Marvel a lot? Not really. So, yeah, uh, I reckon the dogs will beat the Tigers. Um... And I, I, I can't see a reason why Fremantle cannot beat GWS in Perth. There is no reason why they shouldn't be able to. And Fremantle 4-0, and zero, I, st I still think, I still do believe they are going to get a really good start to the year. Because, um, of course, their, their back end of the year is a lot harder later on. Now, 
I also have um, implemented on fans' comments as well um, throughout uh, the fixture action. I have had some um, comments that have been like, this team isn't isn't where they should be and, and all that, or this, this, that. Um, so I have definitely taken into account all of your thoughts, um, and this is kind of another way that I could uh, really execute them as well. Um, and so... And this also just kind of goes to show, like, how well have I been looking at these fixtures. It's almost a little bit of a mini test as well um, to just look back, go over what I've done as well. Um, now, I am, I, I was really proud and, and pleased with how well the fixture action went. Um, and, yeah, I, w I was very happy with how it went. But, yeah, this is just the kind of video to... Oh, implement your suggestions as well because I had a suggestion on the St Kilda one and on the Carlton one I might have had a couple of other suggestions on other ones as well um which I was like there was a couple of fixed reactions which I would I must admit if I could probably go and redo them there would be a couple that I would go and redo um but they're, they're they are all out there now um and they're out there but yeah there was a couple that I'd probably think about redoing if I was to um, re redo them. Now, I reckon Freo Carlton are going to have another really close game this year, um, as what they normally do, but this time we're actually going to get seeded Optus as well, which is really exciting. Um, considering the last time we had it down, there was 36 to 40, Carlton won after Siren by an amazing miracle as well, um, but yeah, it's, it's, um, interesting. Now, um, I'm just going to change this to make Geelong win by a little bit more. Gold Coast, Brisbane. We do know how those play out in the end. Richmond, Melbourne. I'm um, going to say Melbourne. Just too strong. Hawthorne, Sydney. Sydney. Essendon, Collingwood, Essendon. Um, West Coast, Richmond. We do actually have a good game here. And again for West Coast, they do go through a really hard patch in the midst of their fixture. Same with um, Fremantle as well. Um, so... For West Coast, they have most of their free games towards the back end rather than the front. Now, going over the ladder so far, uh, we have got every team has had a loss except for Melbourne so far. Um, and, yeah, it's going pretty well. Teams uh, that have not got a win, Adelaide, Gold Coast and North Melbourne, which that is how I would definitely be seeing that kind of play out as well. Um and yeah, Melbourne, they are just definitely going to be keeping up their red hot form as well. So good for Adelaide because Ailey's could be okay. Carlton North, I'm going to say Carlton now. I know that you guys might be like North Melbourne, we'll win that, and that one could really go either way. Um, but I do think Carlton will win it. And I did have a comment on a Carlton video saying that you didn't give Carlton enough wins, which I do definitely agree with that. Um, and sometimes giving the top teams too many wins. Of course, though, we have seen that in the past, that top teams have definitely been able to collect a lot of wins anyway. Um, and that brings around seven to a close. Um, that's how we're looking so far. Um, but, yeah, so far, so good in this video. Now, of course, uh, as I did say, this is going to mark the start of the um, officialness, as that is kind of... This is a really fun part as well, making your official predictions... Um, it, it is a really fun part. I really enjoy making these official predictions because um, you've learnt. And I do think GWS can scalp this game against the Cats. Going for an upset there. Um, I have, like, yeah, always making the official predictions are a lot more funner because you've learnt, you've looked at the fixtures, you've analysed them, and doing one for every team means you really have analysed them, you really looked at them. Um, and I'm not sure if you guys have watched every, every one, which I wouldn't expect anyway. But I most certainly know that I've filmed every single one of them. And um, and I do think that, like, like, because, yeah, I've filmed every single one of them. I have definitely learnt a lot. And this has given me this knowledge to now, to now know this is how the official predictions could turn out to be. This is what they're going to look like, which is really interesting um, as well. So that's that's the exciting thing is that, yeah, about those... um predictions and about looking at the fixtures is yeah that you now know how how um that's gonna kind of play out um you do you've got more knowledge heading into the season about how how teams are actually going to be affected by the year and it's really interesting as well to look at that 
Now, of course, still in round nine. Um, still in round nine. This seems to be going for a very long time, this round. We finally hit round 10. So after round nine, this is how things are tracking right now. Um, and you are going to see a couple of teams make some dramatic moves either up or down the ladder. Um, now, for Fremantle, it's all down from here pretty much. And for a team like um, maybe Gold Coast or North Melbourne or Adelaide, it might be more up. Um, we're just going to have to wait and see so far. Um, now, I have definitely listened to the um, Carlton advice so far. I have given them a few more wins than what um, than what I probably originally thought. Um, but yeah, at the end of the at the end of this video, we're going to be going over the ladder about how. Um, but anyway, we're going to get back on topic now. We're going to actually talk about the video, what's actually going on. Um, so Geelong do host Adelaide and Port Adelaide down at um, Cadenia Park this year, which is also another interesting thing as well. Um, so yeah, just an interesting thing to take into consideration, I guess. Um, now Richmond and Essendon. Now these two teams do play each other twice, so I do feel like one could go one way, one could go the other. That's how I potentially see them kind of playing out. Um, as well. But yeah, for Fremantle, it is all down from here. After they win against Collingwood, they will find things very hard to track from there. Now, Collingwood, Carlton, MCG. Now, again, I do think it'll be one apiece for these two teams. This is who wins the first one and who wins the uh, the round 23 one, which I do think Carlton probably will not be a better team in round 23. So I'm going to hand the first one to Carlton and I'm probably going to hand the second one to Collingwood. Now, because I do think those teams are, are pretty even and I reckon we've got a good, good kind of game there. Um... Now, yeah, again, as I was saying, Fremantle, it's all down from here. St Kilda, they were, they're were they a team that could potentially be making the eight this year. Now, where they sit, 10th, they're not in a bad position right now. Um, Sydney and Richmond, now, this this is a tough one. I, I'm going to say Sydney just because they're so dominant. And in Sydney, now, Marara over, I'm pretty sure that's like a TIO Stadium or TIO Traeger Park. Now, I am going to say this is going to be Gold Coast's first win of 2022. We'll be up there. Now, um, Port Adelaide Essendon. Oh, this is this is Port Adelaide's game though. Um West Coast Western Bulldogs, Western Bulldogs, Hawthorne Collingwood. Ooh. I mean, because these two teams are both very low, I do think Hawthorne will have some more wins. So I'm gonna have to give that to Hawthorne. Um Melbourne, Sydney. Melbourne. Um Western Bulldogs, Geelong, Docklands, Western Bulldogs. Um Adelaide West Coast. Now, I am going to say, like, Adelaide could definitely win this. But, like, just because of where West Coast are at, I'm going to say West Coast. Because I do know Adelaide do get a couple more wins towards the end of the year. Anyway, I'll just quickly show you. So, as I said, they don't have... They've got one win against Gold Coast. They've got... Um, they've got two wins against Hawthorne. Three against Collingwood. Four against Carlton. And then five against North Melbourne. So... Yeah, they are getting their wins. They will get their wins from somewhere, Adelaide. All right, but talking about that, interesting game here. Gold Coast North. Now, I am going to say this is going to be Go um, North Melbourne's first win, leaving Adelaide the only team that needs to get a win in 2022. Now, Frio Brisbane. Um, I'm going to say Brisbane just because I reckon they're going to be a dominant team this year, Brisbane. Um, now, Brisbane, St Kilda, Brisbane, Collingwood, Melbourne. Um... I'm going to say Melbourne by a fair bit. Essendon and Carlton. Now, this, these games can be kind of interesting. Now, I could definitely hand it to Carlton knowing that they have won the last couple of these games. Now, I could definitely do that. Um, but just because I feel like Essendon are actually a top eight worthy team, I'm going to hand it to Essendon by a bare margin, by a bare margin. That is going to be a good game, that one. Richmond, Port Adelaide, MCG. This is probably one that I should be handing to Richmond, I reckon. This is one that I could hand to Richmond. I'm going to hand it to Port Adelaide, though, um, just because I think they'll, they'll be that little bit better. Even though I do think Richmond are going to be a better team in 2022. Now, as I was saying, here's where Adelaide get their first win of the year is up against the Gold Coast Suns. Um, now, Little West Western Bulldogs City Showground. I reckon we're in for another absolute cracker. Richmond, Carlton. Carlton do probably stand a chance in one of these games as... Um, what a viewer said um, in the current fixed reaction comments. I am going to say they are really going to compete in this game and um, only lose by a small margin. Now, St Kilda Essendon. This is one that St Kilda do really have a chance in. Now, 
Again, this is very important based on their top eight chances, St Kilda. But I am going to hand it to Essendon, and that is important for Essendon. That is, of course, a revival of their season really right there. Port Adelaide, Sydney, Adelaide Oval. Wow. I really could actually see this one going Sydney's way if I was if I was being completely honest. But I'm going to say Port Adelaide, West Coast, Geelong, uh, Geelong, Carlton, Freo, Docklands. You know whose way this is going to go. It's going to go Carlton's way. And they normally do take it out in a, in a fair bit as well. They do take it out by a fair bit. Uh, calling with GWS, uh, GWS, uh, Geelong, Richmond. I'm going to hand it to Geelong. Melbourne, Brisbane, Melbourne. North Melbourne, Adelaide. Um, down at what, what stadium do you call that? Is it? I'm pretty sure it's Blunston. Again, I could really see this one going either way. I'm going to hand it to North Melbourne. Um, Sydney St Kilda SCG, this is Sydney's game. Uh, West Coast, um, Western Bulldogs, Hawthorne, Western Bulldogs, Port Adelaide, Gold Coast, Port Adelaide. Uh, West Coast, Essendon, I'm going to say Essendon. Uh, Brisbane, Western Bulldogs, Gabba. I am going to say, I do actually think Brisbane are going to build a real big fortress up there this year. So I'm going to say Brisbane. Carlton St Kilda, St Kilda. Essendon, Sydney, very close game. Just going to give it to Sydney though. Geelong North, um, Geelong... Gold Coast Collingwood, close game. It is up on the Gold Coast. So I'm probably oh, tight. I'm going to give it to Collingwood, though, by a bare margin. Um, GWS Hawthorne, GWS. Richmond, West Coast, Richmond. Adelaide, Melbourne, Melbourne. Frio, Port, Port. Brisbane, Essendon, Brisbane. Well, a bit more than that. Um, Collingwood North, Collingwood. Geelong, Melbourne, oh, this is tight. Geelong to hand Melbourne their first defeat of the year. Gold Coast, Richmond, Richmond, Hawthorne, Adelaide. Oh, this is this is a tight one as well. This is a real tight one. I am going to give it to, to Adelaide, I reckon. I'm going to give that one to Adelaide. St Kilda, Fremantle, Fremantle. Although I do see St Kilda really fighting in that game. Um, Sydney Western Bulldogs SCG, that's Sydney's game. Um, Port Adelaide GWS, Port Adelaide, West Coast Carlton. Now, this is one that either team could win. Now, I do see West Coast are going to gain a lot of wins in the back end. Just because it opted, so I'm going to say West Coast, and I'm, then I'm going to say Geelong up against Carlton to Geelong to win. Uh, Essendon, Marnica with GWS Brisbane could go either way. Could go either way. I am going to give it to... I definitely could see GWS winning this game. That's the funny thing. I'm going to give Brisbane the real benefit of the doubt here. Hawthorne, West Coast, West Coast. West Coast to win away from home. Yes, I know, West Coast. Um, or, or do that. Yeah, I'm going to say yes. Or... Yes, yes. Um... North Melbourne, Richmond, Richmond, um, Western Bulldogs, St Kilda, Western Bulldogs, Adelaide, Collingwood. This is Adelaide's game. Um, Melbourne, Port, I'm going to say Melbourne. Frio, Sydney, tight game. I have Fremantle getting over uh, the Swans in this game, though. Um, mm, no, nah, I have Sydney doing it, actually. I have Sydney doing it. Brisbane, um, GWS, uh, Collingwood, Essendon, Essendon, North Melbourne, Hawthorne. Who do I give the win to? I'm going to give it to Hawthorne. Richmond, Frio, Richmond. Sydney, Adelaide, Sydney. Western Bulldogs, Melbourne, Western Bulldogs. Um, Port Adelaide, Geelong, Port Adelaide. West Coast, St Kilda, St Kilda. That's important for their season as well because they they needed that. They did need that, St Kilda. Um, Collingwood, Port Adelaide, Port Adelaide. Um, Essendon, North Essendon. Geelong, Western Bulldogs, Geelong, Gold Coast, West Coast. I am going to say West Coast. Um, Richmond, Brisbane, we've got uh, Richmond. Um, now, St Kilda, Hawthorne, St Kilda. Sydney, GWS, Sydney, by a bare margin. Adelaide, Carlton. I mean, look, again, this one could really go either way. But look, it's on Adelaide's home deck. So I'm going to say Adelaide by, by a biggish margin as well. So Adelaide. Uh, Fremantle, Melbourne, Melbourne. Brisbane, Carlton, Brisbane. Um, Geelong, St Kilda, Geelong. GWS, Essendon, GWS. 
big game as well. That That's a really big game. That shapes the rest of the season as well. That shapes the season. Uh, that That's important for both St Kilda, Essendon, Fremantle and GWS. Doesn't really mean a lot to the other teams though. Uh, Hawthorne, Gold Coast. Let's see. Um, I could definitely see Gold Coast like taking it a game. I'm going to say Hawthorne, but I'm going to go and make a couple of changes. Alright, so I decided to make Gold Coast win against North Melbourne. That's the change that I've made. Melbourne, Collingwood, Melbourne. North Melbourne, Sydney, Sydney. Uh, Western Bulldogs, Fremantle, Western Bulldogs. That is a very important game. Port Adelaide, Richmond, Port Adelaide. West Coast, Adelaide, West Coast. Uh, Essendon, Port Adelaide, Essendon. Nope, Port Adelaide, sorry. that's that's That was the wrong call. Um, Gold Coast, Geelong, Geelong to smash the Suns. Melbourne, Carlton, Melbourne. Richmond, Hawthorne, Richmond, St. Kilda, Brisbane, Brisbane, Sydney, Collingwood, Sydney, Western Bulldogs, GWS, Western Bulldogs, um, Adelaide North, that is Adelaide's game, um, Frio, West Coast, Frio, Brisbane, Melbourne, I've got the Gabba, I do have Brisbane taking this game out, and you're going to be like, how, how do you have them taking them out, I reckon they're going to have a real strong fortress up at the Gabba this year now. These, this, there's a real big game in here that, that means the world as well. Carlton, Collingwood. Now, I did say that I'm going to have Collingwood taking the second game out. So, I am going to stick to my promise and and give you that. Collingwood taking the second game out. Essendon, Richmond. Now, Essendon are out of the contest anyway. Um, so, I see Richmond taking that game away. Um, now, I can't... I actually have to put in some scores here. I can't predict a margin this big. But I am going to say, like, um, yeah, West Coast, they're going to get a massive thumping by the Cats at GMHBA. Now, this game means all. GWS, Frio, Marne, Carovel. Now, I really hope this game is played under lights because if the season goes the way I think it is, this game is going to mean it all. GWS win, they're in there. Frio win, they're in the eight. And I say Frio, I say Frio, and I say they get a spot in the eight. Now, Hawthorne, Western Bulldogs, Western Bulldogs, North Melbourne, Gold Coast, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say North. Like North are gonna take that game out. Um, St Kilda, Sydney, Sydney by a very small margin. Port Adelaide, Adelaide, Port Adelaide, and that ends off the year. So I have Melbourne and Sydney finishing on 19 wins each. I know that is pretty big. Uh, I think those two teams are gonna be very dominant this year. Then I have Brisbane, Geelong, Western Bulls finishing on 18 wins each. I have Port Adelaide finishing on 17 wins, 16 for Richmond, 13 for Freo. And then I, I do know that I didn't hand a lot of the bottom teams more wins, but I do think this year the competition is going to be based around these dominant teams. Getting more games at a dominant home ground does mean a fair a fair lot. Now, of course, we are doing finals as well. Um, but first of all, we just need to make sure there's no changes that need to be made. All right, so I've been going at this for a long time now. I've been going at this for, I don't know, Around 5, 10 minutes, I've just been working on changes now. I haven't decided to make any changes to lower teams, um, which I'll quickly go and do that now. Alright, so I have left it as that. I've decided three wins is enough for these bottom teams. I've decided to make North Melbourne win over West Coast and make Gold Coast win over Collingwood. That's how I've decided to pound it out. Uh, this is my final ladder. I'm happy with it now. I do have Port Adelaide missing out in the top four. And so with the Western Bulldogs, uh, and I have them equal with Richmond. I have Fremantle, the only team that's pretty much out of place in the eight. I have Melbourne, Brisbane, Geelong, Sydney making the top four. I think these uh, four teams are really going to be some of the best teams in the competition this year. I reckon they're going to be really hard to beat. Now, I don't see Port Adelaide making the top four, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, but that's just how the fixture goes. I uh, have Essendon finishing 10th, 11th St Kilda, 12th Carlton, 13th West Coast, 14th Collingwood, 15th Adelaide, 16th Hawthorne, 17th North, 18th Gold Coast. So I do think this is about a fair prediction. Uh, and I do think that I am probably on the ball with this one. Now, I know there's not a lot of upsets in here, which I know you guys are going to be like, where's the upsets now? This is also my opinion, um, but let's just go ahead and get into finals. So qualifying final one, I have Melbourne taking that out. And qualifying final number two, the streaming up at the Gabba, so I have Brisbane winning. Now, for the elimination finals, I have Port Adelaide smashing free in the first one. And in the second one, I have the Western Bulldogs beating Richmond. So Fremantle and Richmond are gone in the first week of the finals. Um, so now we have probably truly the six best teams heading into the next stage of the finals. Now, 
Um, in semi-final number one, Sydney, Port Adelaide, the SCG. Now, I do have Sydney getting through. I do have Port Adelaide being knocked out here, which is, um, yeah, interesting. Um, and then in the second semi-final, we've got Geelong Western Bulldogs, and I have uh, the Western Bulldogs advancing through, which means Port Adelaide, Geelong, good in the second week of finals. Uh, now, in the preliminary final number one, I do have Melbourne getting through, and I do have... Um, Sydney really fighting their way up at the Gabba to get through. I have Brisbane failing out again in the grand final. It is too hard to go past Melbourne, but I do have my runners up being Sydney now. I'm pretty clear on that. Um, and that that is definitely a very good ladder in my opinion. Now, you guys can let me know your ladder in the comment section down below. But that is it for today's video, okay? I know it was a bit of a long one, but the official stuff is coming. So official ladder predictions be coming soon but i do hope you guys did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe hit that notification bell so then you guys will never miss another video on the channel please don't forget this is my opinion so you guys can leave your thoughts in the comment section that's it for me now guys so bye guys bye plays out